guys, this is Jamie from Broader World UK and I'm here at the Playhouse Theatre with his patron, Shona White. Thanks for joining us. Thank you, lovely to be here. Well, lovely for you to be here in the Playhouse, the beautiful Playhouse Theatre. It is very lovely for me to be here. <laughs> so, first of all, can you tell me what exactly is a patron of a theatre? What does the job title involve? Okay, so it's a very new position. It was the brainchild of the new theatre manager um, of the Playhouse, Jenna Harvey, uh, who is very young and innovative and has lots of new ideas of how to put the Playhouse on the map, basically. Um, so I am discovering it as I go along, what the role entails, because I am the first patron of an ATG venue so um, uh, yes it's very exciting but basically I my official title is official rule sorry is to provide a link between the producers and the audience um, yeah and there are a few events that are in the pipeline uh, which will be revealed in the not too distant future we can't talk about them quite yet um, and it will become a bit more clear what my role is as patron uh, but I'm just basically looking forward to doing anything I can to help raise the profile of this beautiful theatre. Fantastic. So not only are you the first theatre to have a patron, you're also the first theatre to have a gallery and coffee shop. Uh, yes, there is a gallery and coffee shop which is open 10 to 4 daily and like you say it's the first theatre that has, has had something of its kind uh, and uh, if you look around the theatre there's some fantastic art hanging around. I actually have a piece in my home. Um, yeah, so lots of firsts happening, all very exciting. Actually, let's talk more about you um, and now about your career. So first of all, am I right in thinking you're the first person to ever play both Sophie and Donna? Yes, I believe so. Even though you're only as old enough to play Sophie, clearly. Well, thank but. you, Jamie. <laughs> you're very kind. Uh, yes, I have been in the business that long that uh, I did play Sophie way, way back in 2002. Uh, and then, yes, I've just uh, recently been at... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> the novello playing uh, playing Donna, alternate Donna. Um, yes, very very strange, but it's a show that's very close to my heart, and what an incredible thing to be able to say that I've done. Um, and I, I just I just love that show, it's so special to me. So to be able to kind of come full circle was a real thrill. Well, I actually almost needed the bigger cue card because you've done so many shows, so that's great. <laughs> um, but obviously it's enough ABBA. So you've got Les Mis, Wicked. How is that in the industry as it's evolved over the last 21 years? Uh, well, like you say, the industry definitely has evolved, but for me, the bigger thing at the moment is, is um, uh, my uh, change and uh, stepping into a different casting bracket uh, and still being around. It's, it's, um, I'm loving it actually. Have any of your shows you've been in, in the past actually been at the Playhouse Theatre? Do you have any history with it? Yes, I do, which is uh, one of the reasons that I was chosen for the position. Uh, I did a uh, Rocky Horror Show here uh, back in ooh, 2005 or six. Might just have to check that fact. Um, yes, which was incredible and. Uh, I mean, just the most bonkersly brilliant show. And Richard O'Brien, who created it, um, he would quite often pop up on stage with us, which was quite a thrill. Uh, and uh, as the usherette, uh, I would sing the opening song, Science Fiction, so sometimes he'd jump up and sing a bit of that, or sometimes he'd jump up and do a bit of the time warp, um, which was just fantastic. And you never knew what he was going to wear. <laughs> you know, would, would it be a, a white Marilyn Monroe dress or would it be a twin set in pearls? I don't know. Uh, is that so, something um, people can expect from you being the patron? You might pop up <laughs> wearing anything. Well, no you knows. never know. Watch this space. Um, so obviously you are Scottish. I am. Surprise. Um, so obviously you're doing, or you just did a Scottish cabaret, is that correct? Can you talk a bit more yes, about Yes, myself and Kieran Brown, who's also been around for quite a while. We go way back, we've known each other since 2000, so 18 years. Um, we're just chatting one day about putting a show together and what could it possibly be about and we suddenly clicked, we're both Scottish and so let's, you know, let's explore our roots and try and find something that celebrates that. So yeah, we put together Scots in the City, um, which celebrates the best of musical theatre um, joined with our Celtic roots. Uh, and so we did a show at the Other Palace on Thursday night, which was Burns Night. Uh, which went rather well, it was really good fun. Um, and the, and the, our launch show was on St Andrew's night. So going forward, we, we won't be able to do them just on Scottish nights. There's, there's only really there's, there's two in each year. So we'll have to now explore a different date for the next one. But watch this space because we are we are talking about our next outing of that show. And so not only are you a patron here, that's not stopped you performing. Do you have anything exciting in the pipeline? Can you or can't you tell us? Uh, well, as well as my duties here as patron, uh, there, so there will be a few events happening throughout the year. I will 
will be involved in here. Um, but yes, I do have a new show coming up, uh, which I start rehearsals for in April, but unfortunately it's not been officially announced. So again, it would have to be a teaser. <laughs> so you can go to ATG tickets to find out what's on at the Playhouse or do check out shonawhite.com. <laughs> <laughs>